Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video because we are going on a mega Funko Pop slash collectible hunt. Today I'm at an amazing mall. They have stores that we're going to be visiting such as Target, Barnes & Noble, Box Lunch, GameStop, Hot Topic, Newbery Comics, and Five Below, and I'm sure that I'm missing something in that list. So come along with me. We're gonna be looking for some new pops and also seeing if we find any grails or anything else. There's a couple that I have my eye on as well, and this mall is absolutely huge. So let's go take a look and come along with me. I'm thinking that I'm gonna start out on the floor that I came in on, but We'll definitely be back later because I just found my favorite bubble tea place. This mall is absolutely huge. And like I mentioned, we have so many stores to get to. So here we go. And let's go get started. I think we're gonna go from the top floor and then work our way down to the bottom because there's a lot of stores that I wanna hit that are up at the top. So let's go do that first and then we'll see how it goes. First stop today is Target. Let's go check out what they have and hopefully we find some new stuff. Okay guys, this is the last of the Target Con stuff. I'm not really interested in anything here, so we're gonna go take a look and see what else is around. So this is the other section. I was looking through and there's a lot of new pops, but nothing really that I'm interested in, but I was checking and I already found one of the Green Lantern shared exclusives from C2E2. So I don't know how this is out yet, but they also have the Target Con ones, other Star Wars ones. Where'd I put it? Oh, this one I got for Paul, of course, because that's him. And a couple other things as well. And of course, you know we love the Yankees. Okay, guys, so that was it for Target. Really didn't find anything, I asked, and that was the only sections that they had. So. I'm gonna check by the register because sometimes they have them there, but if not, we're gonna move on and we're gonna go to Barnes & Noble, so I'll see you there. As I predicted, they do have a bunch of stuff up here, but I think it looks like all the same things. Also, have you guys seen the Squirrel Girl oops, comic cover from Tarkicon? Because I've never seen this before and I don't know what this is from. It says it's from Marvel, but I've never heard of her before. Um, they have a lot of like the deluxe pops, which I don't really love. They have the t-shirt set here of Bridgerton stuff. Let's see if there's anything else. More Star Wars. There's a ton of Star Wars here. And I like the 8 bit pops too, but I don't really think there's anything else. So let's get moving and we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble next. Target literally had nothing. It was a lot of older stuff. So now what we're gonna do is go to GameStop and then Barnes and Noble and we're gonna go down to floor three. So let's go see. I'm hoping that they have some new stuff now. Okay guys, so I'm at GameStop. This pop is really funny because if you know, this one actually looks better than the NFT that came out. I see some of the new Deadpool pops, so I actually haven't seen this one in person yet. It's so cute. And Baby Animal, I think is the cutest thing. They still have some NYCC pops. And, ooh, hold on. Deadpool Seasons. Has anyone heard of this yet? Hmm, let's see. Looks like it comes with two bobbleheads, one lanyard, and one button set. I'm gonna look this up because I have no idea what's in here. And again, it's like my man is with me everywhere. We got another heavy metal Deadpool. Ooh, that's a new Hello Kitty pop that I haven't seen yet. They have some interesting ones. I haven't seen this one yet. And let's see around on the other wall too. This is the other wall again. A ton of Star Wars everywhere we've been going. A lot of the new Deadpool pops. Oh my gosh, they have all of them. Look how cute. Taurus Deadpool. This one is the later Hosen one. <laughs> He's even got a pretzel. And we have, you know, the heavy metal one, the sleepover one, or bedtime Deadpool. I think that's a separate one. And some of the new uh, two packs. These guys I've seen before here. The three pack from Dungeons and Dragons, but I haven't seen this Jar Jar and General Grievous pack before. And I'm seeing a Wulu from Pokemon, which I haven't seen before either. So that one might be new, but then again, I have not been out pop hunting in a decent amount of time. There's also some new Star Wars pops. Let me know what you guys think of these boxes. It looks like they're changing them to be blue. I like the ones with the orange. Now, this one is super interesting because I swear I have the Darth Maul and Ahsoka two pack 
And I swear to you, they literally, I don't think they even changed Darth Maul. They just added a new character. So I'll have to check when I get home because it looks exactly the same. And a couple other ones over here. These are the new Harley Quinn Pops as well. I haven't seen them yet in store. So we have that one and then we have Frank. This is also the first time I've seen this pop in store or in person, but no chase from what it looks like. That one's really cool too. And the first time I've seen a Daria pop in person too. So this GameStop definitely has a lot more than the one that's closer to me. I think because it's just in a bigger location, but that will do it for GameStop. Okay guys, so nothing at GameStop and I was pretty surprised because they usually have a really good stuff. I was looking for a couple new pops, but I didn't really see anything. So now we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble and see if they've got anything. This one in the past has had a pretty good selection, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So let's take a look. Also, I love Barnes and Noble. It's one of my favorite stores ever. This one is like five times the size of the one that's closer to us. And I literally grew up like loving the kids section and just loving reading and Barnes and Noble is best. So let's go take a look. So they've got a decent amount of things. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit closer, but pretty good selection from what I can see. I literally grew up with my parents always taking me to Barnes and Noble and us reading together and some of my favorite memories. So hopefully we can find some good stuff today, but a lot of anime, um, all the new bitty pops or not new bitty pops. I just haven't seen them in store yet. And they have some of the new Godzilla stuff. I think I noticed one over here. Where is it? I think this one might be my favorite. Look how cute. <laughs> it looks like an axolotl almost. And it looks like, yeah, so see the little hole in the mouth? It comes with some flames. So it breathes like purple flames. You know, this is a really cute pop. I have to say, I think this was Funko Lover's favorite. So I might have to get this. Let's see, we have Taurus Deadpool, some more Star Wars. Everyone's got Star Wars. I love this one. The colors on him are so beautiful. And Hocus Pocus, Blue Beetle, Shazam. There's more from the black phone, which once again, we have not gotten in the stores that are closer to me. So let's see. So here it is. I love these pops. The movie was really good. And I believe this is the one that has the chase to it, but I don't know. This is also my first time seeing any of the Yellow Jackets pops in person, which if you haven't seen the show, We've been watching it since it started. It is such a crazy show, so I definitely recommend it. But this is Shauna, she's one of the main characters. This is, I guess, takes place when they're out in the woods and she's pregnant. Well, they're out in the woods the whole time, but that's kind of like a key part in the show. It's more recent, I think. So that one came out really good. And I also found Natalie from Yellow Jackets, which let's see if there's anyone behind her and Misty. Misty is played by Christina Ricci. She's crazy, crazy in the show, but it is such a good show. As you can see, there's a ton of characters. It's a whole girls soccer team who crash lands in the woods, and then there's Ben, who was their coach. So they've created all the characters at once. Lottie is probably my favorite just because she has all of the decorations and her outfit and everything, but it's a pretty good line overall. And finally, just taking one last look for heading out. I'm going to get this for Funko Lover because it's the awesome one. That's the full collection on the back. I think this one's definitely the best. So we're going to pick this one up. But I have not seen the Danny Trejo pop yet in person too. Yeah, this pop is awesome. It's so cool. Hey guys, so we got one pop. So nothing really new besides one thing I'm going to show you in a second, but not a lot of new pops. They have the new Deadpool pop. Um, they also have that Kermit two pack, but still a lot of the Christmas pops as well. Now they do have a couple things. So first one is they have the new Avril Lavigne pop, which I grew up listening to her. So I love her. And I had to show off the Slipknot pops because of course my man loves those. And they have the black pink set, but I wanted to show off. Oh, and another one here too. They have the new Corpse Bride Handy by Robots in, which is Emily. And I believe we're supposed to be getting a Victor with this one too. 
I'm gonna show you up close. Look how awesome this one is. So if you guys remember, Mary, who is the brains behind Handmade by Robots, was on a couple of our live streams on Instagram. And she actually showed us Emily before Emily was even out. So, so cool. I love her dress and you can see her ribs there. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And I love these boxes too, because you can really see her veil and everything, but she just came out incredible. I cannot believe Handmade by Robots did a corpse ride piece. Here's also the new Hot Topic exclusive black light summer stitch. Let me know what you guys think about these. I don't really love them. Um, I'm gonna pass on this. I think Stitch is so cute and I grew up watching him and you know the movies, but I don't know how I feel about these colors. So let me know what you think. So nothing at Hot Topic. I feel like we're kind of striking out today. There's a lot of new stuff, but also just things that I'm not really interested in getting. I'm so excited. I think most excited for box lunch today. And that's where we're gonna go now because they've had a ton of new pops. So let's go see, cause I am so excited. For the Jimmy Neutron pop, which I was hoping they would have. And of course they have the new box lunch exclusive Spider-Man upside down. If you couldn't already tell. I do have Hera or Hera from the original Rebels and the holographic Ahsoka. So I'm thinking I have to get her because she's just gonna look so good next to everything else. And I feel like this is a great out of box pop. I don't know what it is, but I love the Star Wars pops out of the box more than I think in the box. And this being Rebels one, I think I'm gonna have to get it. Let's see. Oh, 16.90, I feel like that one up. Here's the new Deadpool pops, of course. My man is with me at every store with that Deadpool. And I think that's it, but I am gonna ask and see if they have Jimmy in. Stay tuned. So I got one thing from Box Lunch. Now we are gonna go to Five Below because I hear that apparently the chase of the Tommy Pickles pop is showing up from Rugrats. So I don't really wanna get it, but let's just go find out if that's true. Just a little break because I have to show you the Deadpool poster. So shout out to my amazing man, Paul. And guys, you will not believe this. I literally went into Five Below and they had no pops. I looked all over the store. I don't really know if they're just out or what. It's kind of strange, but we're gonna go now to the second floor and we're gonna take a look at what stores are here. And we still have a couple to go. So I'm really excited for Newberry Comics. I think it's on this floor. I also went to Bath and Body Works and I'm gonna be getting some new summer clothes, which I'm really excited about. This woman also in Bath and Body Works said that my hair looks fabulous. So shout out to her. And overall, it's been a great day. So let's see now. I don't really know what's down here, but we'll see. And then we're gonna go back up to two. I have this really awesome store here that I went into last time, but check out the Supreme Sled. But I wanna show you something else too that I think you guys will like. They have the Mischief Big Red Boots. And if you know, I love Astro Boy. I have some really cool pops. So super cool store. I check out all the claws pieces too. So super awesome. So let's keep going, but really awesome store. We are now heading to our final stop of the day, which is Newberry Comics. I'm gonna take you with me. This is probably like the grand finale. The store is incredible. So let's go check out what they have and I'll show you around. Last stop of the day, Newberry Comics. And you already know they have the best pop selection ever. So let's go take a look. Can't forget to say hi to the Batman. I really wish that they would sell this and it's so funny because it literally says not for sale. Chases today. That Iron Maiden chase is so funny because it was at five below for a while ton of good stuff but nothing really that I'm interested in although let's see what they have over here they have the Peaky Blinders chase that Blue Beetle one again a couple others over here I'm surprised to see this in store, but it looks like it's 2023, so I wonder if they're reprinting these OG Pennywise. They also have the Black Oat one. For a second, I thought I might find the Rhode Island one, and that would be a problem if I did. Yes, yeah, so I have all the anime stuff sectioned off, which is a lot. And interestingly enough, I'm finding them with the specialty series stickers on there, which I don't know if they do for Newberry, so that might be new. And then here's all the new pops. They have so much, oh my gosh. They also have that Shimo and a ton of the Godzilla pops, Baby Animal, that Diamond Edition Mr. Sparkle, the Mecha Godzilla, which is really cool. Check that out. 
and all of the Wizard of Oz pops, which are really awesome. So I just got done with Newberry Comics. I didn't pick anything up because it was mainly just commons, but what an awesome, awesome day. We got some great stuff, so stay tuned because I'll now show you what I picked up. But thank you guys so much for watching and let's see what I got. So I actually can't believe I just found this one. If you guys know, that line is really old. This is a 2011.